So we're just we're just saying that from now on. He's just the white dragon now. That's just the name. That's just sticking. Not even wearing the white coat. Doesn't matter. All right, sounds good. Well, ladies and germs in the line, we have another great match for you and everybody watching at home. I know that line can be pretty long, but don't worry. You have the chance to be up here facing our champions as well for the wait. Don't forget, the people helping you out would love to answer any questions you have once you're in there. And uh, for you guys at home, we can answer all your questions. Like uh, right now, go ahead and ask a question and Flash will answer it. That's right, just telepathically, right? Yep, go ahead. Uh, yeah, Keith, Keith the Bold is indeed the best, uh... That is hero. correct, Fox. Great job. You really handled it. Uh, right now we're seeing a very fun match here. Two red decks mixed together. One red-blue, one red-green, which means there's going to be a lot of big boys killing things, as you can see right here on Pugna. Pugna. No one would have expected. <laughs> no. Pugna is like this little soft wizard, and suddenly he's this <laughs> majestic beast. A <laughs> soft magic. wizard. Pugna, the soft wizard, as we all know and love, <laughs> has become a monster in the game of Artifact. That's right, red hero. Indeed. Uh, so we have some choices here. Zeus and Favar the Dreamer. Favar. Favarhan. <laughs> How exactly do you say? Favarhan. Farvin? Farvin. That's like, like how uh, from a South Dakota, if he was a, my name's Farden. Farden the Dreamer. Pomp <laughs> Farden the Dreamer going down to that third lane there. Oh, I love this skill right here, Flash. Um. Viscous Nasal Goo. Our challenger passing up on it, unfortunately. It only costs four mana, but it modifies a unit with minus two armor forever. 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 And he, oh, okay, he saved it for Axe. I, I like that better. Yes. Axe's two armor can get really annoying. And now that, that creep can actually do something to him. Yep, every single time he'll be receiving some little bit of damage from creeps. So uh, yeah, I'll take that move for sure. That was a, great. If you look at the white dragon's hand right now, it's actually the red dragon. He only has red cards. That is unfortunate. Time. Um, so he has two of these green heroes that he can't really get any uh, ability usage out of, but uh, still looking. Pretty decent for our white dragon here. He's just mowing down these blue heroes. They're so squishy. Yeah, uh, as you guys saw from that last lane, we got one of these beautiful bronze legionnaires being placed on the edge there. But a lucky arrow did make sure that that legion was actually attacking the hero, making lethal damage. Every time that a card goes down, a random arrow will appear in front of it. Could go forward, could go left, could go right. Yep, chances are 25, 50, 25, respectively. Really? Yeah. I didn't know. No, I'm not being sarcastic. Uh, well, that's great. That's cool. I never knew that. See, I'm still learning stuff every day. Luna going in that middle lane right there. I like that choice right there. As you guys might know, Luna does have a passive called Lucent Beam that will attack one random person on the enemy team. But uh, this is their only one person, not too random at all. Yep, just going to go right onto Axis face. Indeed. Oh. Ooh, that's a, that's a nice card to, to kill off some creeps, you know? To clear the deck, absolutely. Tell me about that one. What, what is cleave, Fwatt, if cleave. I may? So right now you see this is plus four cleave. Uh, it's going to do that amount of damage to its uh, the, the neighbors, to Bristleback. That's right. So you can see now those creeps to the left and right of that middle creep are taking four damage. That's correct. Now it only lasts one time, so this is not a permanent card. It's a spell card. So those creeps will all die thanks to Bristleback. And a little surprised that he didn't commit the Stone Hall Cloak. This is a very strong item, oh, everybody. Yes. Uh, when you put it on, your hero gets an automatic 4 HP. But more importantly, every single round, he gets 2 health. And uh, the earlier you can put it on a hero, the better. They just get huge. So now we're seeing the red mist coming out from the mid lane. And you know what? He might be using that to save Earth, uh, sorry, Earthshaker here. It could happen. Yeah. Uh, not and a it's bad better idea. better on a, a blue hero. They're, they tend to be squishy. They don't have the armor that, like, Bristle does. So. Uh -huh. Uh, putting him on here, uh, it saves him this round, and it also has that compounding effect. Indeed, indeed. So, Pugna, putting down another ward right here, making it a little hard to cast spells in this lane. You're absolutely right. That cloak is going to go on Earthshaker to save his life. And uh, this lane is Earthshaker's holding it down for a little bit. Holding it down. And uh, our challenger does have two Echo Slams in his hand. And Hello. So once it hits uh, turn seven, He's going to be happy to see more and more creeps go over there. Yeah, yeah, this is just right on time for our challenger here. He has a lot of late game cards. Two level eights, two sevens, and one five. So uh, we're almost there already. 
And uh, this game's moving, moving pretty fast. We're going to see some pretty strong spells. Ooh, look at the white dragon's hand right now. He has two Berserker's Call. Yikes. <laughs> That's pretty good. Three, in fact, Fosh. And he can use it right now and kill off two heroes. That's correct. Berserker's Call, of course. You choose an allied red hero, and it battles its enemy neighbors, meaning that Ready both those me. heroes will be hitting Legion. He's going to buff her up a little bit before that Berserker's Call. And Legion is a great hero to use us on because she has plus two retaliate, meaning every time somebody hits her, they get pl plus two damage as well. So she'll be dealing a total of 10. Uh, not that she needs it to kill these guys, but. Ooh, but ooh. thanks to uh, Lumi just equipping that uh, hood there, yep. Legion is still going to die because, oh, wait, no, that one armor. One armor. One armor. Can't forget that armor, Can't girl. And there we go, clearing out that entire lane, 12 damage on that tower. And things are looking worse and worse for our challenger, who was quite far ahead. Now, oh, this is uh, pretty interesting here. One damage away from this tower. You could commit yourself to the Red Mist Pillager, but you all laughed at Fighting Instinct. Fighting Instinct one, coming in. <laughs> the one damage he needed. I told you, my boy. The so best strong. five mana ever spent. Hello, Dolly. So that will be lethal damage in the middle lane, and we will see the Ancient exposed. Only one more tower remains for our challenger before he's victorious. Ooh, this lane is starting to be a spooky place to cast spells. Well, you know what? Don't worry about it. We got Nether Blast here to take out Conflagration. It destroys any improvement. Boom shakalaka. And uh, as you said, this is not the place you want to cast a spell. Three damage per Nether Ward, meaning every single time he casts something, it's going to be six on that tower. That's already pretty low. That's disgusting. That is disgusting. And there's one more somewhere in that deck, another Nether Ward. <laughs> Would you stack up three Nether in Ward? one lane? I don't know about that. <laughs> Although I had, I did have that in that last game I played, but it made for an honorable Sudoku. Ah, very good. Sudoku. Yeah. <laughs> I believe it's called Seppuku. Seppuku. You were doing some Sudoku over there, but all right. I don't know how I'm going to correct you on that when I haven't been able to do what's six times two. So uh, don't worry about it, Flash. No worries. Right. Win some, you lose some. Ooh, Ooh 14. Right. This is tough. Uh, our hero's taking, or sorry, our challenger's taking. He's my hero. That's true. <laughs> With that beard, <laughs> whose hero oh, isn't he? <laughs> um, so oh. Wow. The value, divine purpose. That is Even though she has one health, it yeah. doesn't matter. Now, I'm going to tell you guys something real crazy. Are you ready for this? If you can destroy an item that is keeping someone alive, like this hood right here, they will actually die because it's a bonus for health. That divine purpose, if our challenger can get an Atheosis Blade to destroy that item, it will actually kill that hero despite being invincible. That's true. That's a, that's a lot of... Um, that's a lot of what that ifs, but it could, could happen, Flosh. But yeah, if he, uh, if he could get rid of that item, he could die. But otherwise, there's no way in a red and blue deck to... Uh, kill that guy, that Indeed. damage immune guy. Indeed. So he's going to pull out uh, that hero right there, Luna, from the mid lane with a teleportation scroll. Try to get out of there as fast as possible to redeploy in the next phase. Going to lose this tower this time. And it comes down yeah. to the first lane. You don't want to be in that lane anyways. There's nah. Two nether wards, all these big fat minions. Get out of there for sure. Our all challenger right. has four whopping heroes. Yeah, that's a lot of heroes <laughs> going into the mid. Phase. He, they got nowhere to go but that first lane. If he puts him in any other lane, he's making a horrendous mistake. Yeah, he's got to go first. Now, we do have some bad news for you. Uh, the initiative is on White Dragon. So our boy yes. Lumi gets he, to go first. And he has a perfect person that can guarantee his oh, Berserker's Call. No. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. This is going to be <laughs> so devastating to watch. And, oh. oh, to rub it in, the random Lucent Beam goes on to her face and... Yeah, it's, it's looking kind of scary. Is there any creeps that our challenger has any way to block that lichen? Because what he could do is indeed stun up yep. those heroes, but <laughs> that lichen is still the threat here. He has the Red Mist Pillager. Oh, oh, oh no, if it hits, oh no, it, oh my god. None of them hit lichen. They, none of them hit lichen, they all went on Legion. The risky oh, RNG the play. Disaster. Oh, the disaster play. He could have survived just barely with one more red mist pillager in front of that lichen, but oh, yeah. sometimes no. you gotta go for the flash. Hey, I liked it. It was a flashy end to a great match. Well done to our challenger. And